How do you know if the protein powder you're taking is providing the most optimal benefit for you? So the human body is very complex. We need nutrients, we need proteins, we need carbs, we need fats for basic metabolic function. And buying these in isolation, like just protein, and when you put this in a powdered form, it's stripping it of its nutrients. So it would be similar to a car. You know, a car has many parts that are necessary for you to get in it and it function. So buying protein in a powder form would be just like buying four tires and basically losing the whole context. So four tires may provide some benefit, maybe provide you some mobility, but it's not a complete car. So the complete car comes in getting your nutrients directly from the source, a balanced diet in moderation. The problem is the human body is never designed to absorb foreign protein, whether it comes from plants or animals. The benefit of protein ingestion is so your body can break that protein down into the constituent amino acids and the human body uses those amino acids to make human proteins, not animal proteins, not plant proteins. Every protein is made up of different amino acids, what we call the primary structure. And then the human body breaks down those proteins into amino acids. So there's 21 essential amino acids, there's other amino acids. There's really no delineation on the amino acids formed in this. So things like tryptophan, tyrosine, that are really important neurotransmitters, things like dopamine, serotonin. We don't know if these proteins actually have those amino acids and if they do, in what quantity. So you may be taking protein but you may be still deficient in the basic amino acids. And we're finding out, the science is telling us, that the older we get, the more protein we need to ingest. We need that protein to prevent muscle loss, bone loss, which is very important the older we get. And a rough estimate is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So a 160 pound person like me would have to consume ideally about 160 grams of protein. But again, the source of that protein is very important. I always recommend getting protein directly from the source. Where these here, when you take, whether it's meat or desiccated vegetables and you put it in a powder form, when you take that, when you grind it down and you do high heat, high pressure to get a finished powder product, most of the water soluble nutrients come out. You still get the protein, but you lose the health benefits, really the context for physiology when you put it in a powder form and you eliminate all the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants that come along with the protein. To properly digest proteins, you need a lot of other nutrients like zinc, B vitamins. When you dry these powders, you basically eliminate all the basic water soluble nutrients and many other nutrients that come along with the protein, whether it's meat, lamb, chicken, fish, or for the vegetarians and vegans out there, a diverse plant source of protein because the diversity of that gives you a better mix of amino acids that then the body can utilize to make its own proteins to build muscle, to prevent bone loss, prevent muscle loss, and for optimal health. So buyer beware, you know, get your protein directly from your diet, directly from your source. It's gonna provide better nutrients, better diverse, better amino acid availability.